Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Life with, Life with Shelly. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, toxic people. And there is a lot of toxic people in my life, but I tried to kind of remind myself to move on from it and don't listen to toxic and narcissist people. And there is a lot of toxic people like my sister. My sister, she always complains about stuff all the time. And it seems like instead of her telling, like doing something about it, she complains about it. And it's like, if you're going to complain, don't talk to me. Because I don't want to hear it. Or she just says like, when I go on to a conversation with her talking on the phone, she gives me like blah 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 like talking it's like i don't want to hear your stupid mouth it's like she complains or talks about the same damn shit like over and over and it's just so annoying like it's like she talks about the same crap over and over and it's it's non-stop for her like she doesn't stop talking about she just keeps rambling on and on, and I'm sick of it. Like, I have my own problems I have to deal with, and I have to hear you complain about stupid stuff. How about instead of you, instead of her complaining about stuff, she should thank God every day that she has life. Not everyone has that, has that kind of life where they can live it like she can. She should be more nicer to people, and like I had two friends that passed away they were friends co-workers and they passed away and my sister she like she said something mean she said like oh I didn't like that one or whatever and it's like you know what it doesn't matter if you didn't like them or not because I bet there's a lot of people in the world that does not like my sister at all either and she was complaining that someone one of her friends that she used to be friends with blocked her on Facebook. I'm like, that's not my problem. And then, and then I'm like, you know what, then if you don't like getting blocked, then don't do it to other people then because now you can see how other people feel. It's like, you know, it's not my problem. It's annoying that she acts like everything, everyone should stop what they're doing and do whatever she wants and um also it's like um she's she's always happy and stuff when I do something like when when I um like she's only nice to me when I give her stuff and it's like you know what this is horrible and mean why do you be nice to me only if you want something and she texts me the same crap and she talks to me on the phone about the same crap over and over and I get to a point I'm sick of it and sometimes I really don't know what to say and then one time I think it was a day when I had a really bad sore throat I had to use some numbing medicine to make my throat kind of so I don't feel like I felt like I had a sore throat and then I feel like I have post nasal drip so then in the back of my throat, I feel like there's a lump or something in the back of my throat. So then sometimes I would have to use some numbing medicine to make it so I don't feel it. And I told her, I gotta go, I had to charge my phone, I have to, I have to take some medicine. And then all of a sudden she hangs up on me. It's like, that's not very nice. See, this is what I mean. She, she likes to do things to other people, but if she, but if she yeah she likes to do things mean to other people but if but she doesn't like it when people are mean to her if that makes sense and it's stupid it's like you know what then don't do it to other people then it's not my problem and it's just annoying and she drives me nuts and sometimes i just wish that she could just leave me alone then because every conversation like certain things if I like something she doesn't like it well it doesn't concern you if you don't like something that I that I like then 
oh well, it's something that I like. I mean, there's a lot of things that my sister likes that I don't like. Um, not everyone will like the same things in this world. Everyone's different. God made everyone special and different in this world, and everyone likes what they like. So, it's kind of stupid. Um, it just kind of pisses me off where my sister acts like, <clears throat> like it doesn't matter what she says or does because it's her she has no boundaries she's not very respectful to me um she's just not really nice and I'm sick of it I'm getting to a point where I'm getting to a point where I'm just sick of it I'm sick of talking to her I'm getting sick of talking to her about stuff I'm getting sick of her talking I'm getting sick of her talking about the same crap over and over. It's nonstop, but it's like she talks about the same damn thing, but on a different day. And I'm getting to a point where I'm sick of it. She never respects me as a person. She thinks everything is funny. She's so disrespectful. And I don't want that in my life anymore. I have severe anxiety that I'd have to deal with every single day. Some days I have good days, some days I have bad days. And like I said, guys, I'm going to make a YouTube video sometime talking about my anxiety. But then in the past couple days, I've been having a sore throat and then I'm having problems with the post-nasal drip. And then I feel like there's a lump in, lump in my back of my throat that's bothering me. And I feel like it's choking me or something. So I've been dealing with that and I think it's crazy that my sister, she has no, like, she's not a loving or caring person, she's just mean and I don't know why she's like that, it's just that she is and I'm getting to a point where in my life I'm sick of it. like. Don't you in your life ever get sick of a person where, like, they talk about the same stuff, but on a different day? I mean, I loved my sister a lot, but over the years, I feel like she changed a lot, and I feel like she doesn't really care about others. I feel like she only cares about herself, and that... She only wants to get stuff from me. She doesn't care about actually me. It's, <clears throat> sorry guys, if my voice sounds hoarse or whatever, I've been sick for a couple days with a really bad sore throat and it comes and goes and stuff like that. I don't sleep that good and stuff like that. So it's been crazy. Um, Kelly. But some things I don't understand what happened. Like my sister used to always be nice to me and I used to be always nice to her, but now I'm like so aggravated at her. <clears throat> I feel like there's no winning with her. Like, <clears throat> like you can't really do much about anything. Um, I'm sick of her always telling me what to do and she's always telling me how the weather is in my home state where I used to live but now I live in another like a different state but I already know how the weather is because I lived there for many many years and my sister I think does not need to tell me I can always look it up how the weather is out there it doesn't matter and she always texts me the same damn bull crap. She always sends me stupid text messages with the same stuff. She texts or says the same things on the phone all the time. I'm getting to a point where I want to break from her. I don't want to really talk to her that much. She adds me on Facebook or I see that she has a new Facebook. I add her, she confirms it, and then later on I find out she blocks me. So then I'm not going to keep adding her anymore um I just block her now 
I wish there was something on Facebook like how Instagram was but I used to use Instagram a lot but I don't use Instagram anymore I just use Facebook but I wish there was something on Facebook where I had on Instagram that um, if people keep on making Facebook's account that you can just like um, say that for Facebook to block them because my sister she keeps making constantly Facebook after Facebook and it's so annoying it's like didn't didn't I just add you or didn't you just have a Facebook and blah blah didn't I just and same with snapchat if she makes a snapchat and if I don't answer her or if I'm not friends with her she'll add another another snapchat account and then another account and another account and another account it's like you know what when are you gonna stop making all these stupid accounts when can snapchat and Facebook realize that you shouldn't be making all these Facebooks and these snapchats it doesn't <clears throat> sometimes I feel like I want to report her account because she keeps on making accounts and it drives me nuts stop adding me I don't want you on my Facebook don't you get it like she doesn't understand anything like you tell her like you have to always explain things to me or she you always have to explain things to her or you always have to <sighs> just annoying exhausting and I don't know she's obnoxious and she's annoying she doesn't get anything what you tell her she forgets stuff like what you tell her and stuff it's like did I tell you that how did you forget already I mean <clears throat> I don't know she's just annoying like completely annoying and then I don't know what her deal is she was better in the she used to be better in a long time ago and now she she's not very nice at all she used to be always a good person but now she's not as a good person as I thought she was in the beginning she was a really nice person to talk to and stuff like that now it's like she can't be bothered and I get to a point where I'm sick of talking to her like I want a break since I'm sick and I'm trying to get better I don't want to talk to her I don't want to talk to her for a few months I want a break from her because she's exhausting annoying and irritating and I feel like she only cares about herself and that's all she cares about she doesn't care about anyone else and if I have something for her or whatever that's all she likes me for is me giving her things and that's not right you should not like somebody you don't, you shouldn't like somebody that I mean I'm trying to explain you shouldn't like somebody in order for them giving you things that's that's just being a crappy person I think and my sister she thinks everything is funny and certain things is not and I just wish she would be more opening to God and thank him every day that that thanks for giving her another life to live for because we don't know how long we have on earth and I just feel like why can't she just be happy of what she has in life instead of like instead of like thinking like I don't know I feel like she acts like she's gonna live forever no one knows how long they have on earth we all know that we live day by day and hoping that we will see life the next day but we never know our life is so limited at this point and we never know when our time is only God knows and he's never late on it when it's time for you to go then that's when to go and at the end of the day the end of the years and stuff material things when you pass away to heaven material things that you have now won't matter because you won't be bringing your material items to heaven with you 
but you you'll leave all your materials behind you i'm a catholic person and <clears throat> and i'm a catholic i was born as a catholic when i was born and and then but thing is i want to try to be a good catholic i want to do the right thing but sometimes i need a break in my life because things can get very overwhelming for me frustrating irritating and sometimes i just need a moment to say a little prayer to god to kind of help me with stuff because sometimes i don't know what right path to take because i like talking to my sister but at all at the same time she doesn't understand the things that i understand and i'm just saying that she's such a toxic person she thinks everything is funny she thinks everything like a person if a person does something she doesn't like it but then she acts like it's okay if she does something and she's a toxic person she doesn't respect me as a person she's frustrating to talk to she's very exhausting like if she's talking to me i'm tired already i'm like i still want to give up and just like get off the phone with her i just can't stand talking to her anymore because she just gets annoying she doesn't understand anything and sometimes i get to a point i need a break i really need a break from her i really do and i think the best thing to do is just for me i know i mean might be a mean sister but i'm not trying to be i'm wanting a break from her because she's very exhausting and tiring and irritating and frustrating to talk to she doesn't understand anything she talks about the same stuff over and over and i get to a point where i'm just plain sick of it i want a break i'm sick of talking to her sometimes i mean she doesn't show any love she doesn't show any caring she doesn't show any support it's like she doesn't give a crap anything she only cares about her stupid self and i'm sick of it i'm sick of how she cares about only herself and no of no other people just herself and i'm sick of it why should i talk to her for she doesn't like it when people block her but if but if someone but if you if she blocks you then that's okay well she can get over it i'm her older sister and i'm the middle child i'm no more than she kind of does she's the youngest and she acts like she can control me and she does she acts like she's controlling <sighs> but i want to do i'm taking a break from her not talking to her because it's the best for me and my health because sometimes i just can't stand talking to her anymore sometimes i wish i had a twin sister to talk to instead but she's just annoying i just can't stand talking to her anymore i just can't it's just exhausting and frustrating she doesn't understand she doesn't listen so it's like why should i even bother talking to her why should i waste my time and breath and energy if she doesn't get me so thanks guys for watching my videos and i will see you next time in my next video bye